Screen recording on iOS devices is not an easy business. Apple make it difficult because they're mean. But it can be done, and whether you're a newcomer or a regular to the Video Gadgets Journal, this is your definitive guide on how to get the best iOS screen recorders. Okay, disclaimers first. The pace at which iOS screen recorders come and go is fast. So if something isn't working, I apologize. That's the nature of a business. Stay tuned for an updated video. Secondly, as iOS screen recorders are banned from the Apple App Store, you download and use all of these apps outside of the App Store at your own risk. Okay, let's start with Airshow. Currently, the only free way to get this screen recorder is to download the IPA file and inject it into your iOS device via a computer using Cydia Impactor. While you can download Airshow quite easily as a direct download from savagepool.com, this is the broadcast only version which is 070 or higher. The version you want is 060 or 061 which will look like this and has screen recording options. Many thanks to unknown guy 777 who has supplied the Airshow 060 version of the IPA. A link is in the description and there is a video link on screen now for a more detailed tutorial on how to install IPA files. If you don't have a computer, you can download it through two paid services, Bills.io and Rocket IPA. Bills.io is $9.99 per year per device and it's a relatively easy install process, plus you can install other hacked apps and games. However, as of time of recording, they have the older 0.5.2 version of Airshow, which has video recording playback issues on iOS 10. Rocket IPA is a dollar cheaper at $9 a year per device. It has version 061 of Airshow and 3000 other applications you can download. The install process is a bit more complicated, but the Rocket IPA team will be happy to help you out. Although Airshow is difficult to download these days, once you have it, personally I think it's still the best iOS screen recorder there is. It's the most stable recorder with the best video recording quality. And next up is Video. This screen recorder is much easier to download. Point your Safari browser to the link provided in the video description, which takes you to this page, tap on the blue button and download. When it's finished downloading, you can't launch the app immediately because you need to trust the application certificate. To do this, go to settings and in general, scroll down to profile and device management, tap on the name of the certificate, know that this may change over time, then tap the blue words and the red trust button in the final pop-up. If you're unable to trust the certificate or it won't download, the certificate has been revoked and you'll need to wait a day or two for it to be reissued. While this is a super easy download, there is a question mark about how safe the app is from this source because of these big fat adverts. This suggests that the app has been hacked, so be wary. Alternatively, there is a way to download it from the App Store. To do this, log out of your own App Store account and then log back in with the following details. Don't forget that the password is in upper and lower case, and if this login doesn't work, head on over to YouTube channel AJ170 for updated details. And many thanks to him for providing us with these downloading methods and account details. Without him, we'd be a bit stranded. That will log you in and shift you to the Dutch App Store. You don't need to worry about that. Next, tap on the purchase button, then search for video, and that should show you the application which you can download. The app won't get revoked, and it's the original safe version. Just make sure to immediately sign out of the App Store account once you've finished as you run the risk of locking your iOS device if you stay logged in to this account. Video is a bit of a strange beast when it comes to screen recording. While it does record the sound, you can't hear it while recording and many complain that the Wi-Fi disconnects once they start recording. But given how easy it is to download and it's free, many are now using video. And now it's BB Rex turn. This appeared on the App Store in the summer for a couple of days before being pulled. However, you can download it by pointing your browser to www.pgyer.com forward slash F03. And the password is AJ170. Once you've done that, it should install BBREC onto your device. Now, when you first launch up the application, if it asks you for a username and password, you want to use the same one you used when you were downloading video. To remind you, the username is joechimisawesome at gmail.com and the password is sub capital S 2 capital A capital J 170. BBREC works fantastically for some and terrible for others. Problems you might encounter are failed recordings, which is really annoying, and trouble with a share button crashing the app and not allowing you to save the videos to your photo gallery. And now for Coolpixel. This is the English translated version of Paid Dashi 
and will look very similar to BB Rec. To download it, point your browser to www.pgyer.com forward slash 4KE0. Again, if it asks you for a username and password at any point, use the following. The username is subscribe to boom at gmail.com and the password is at subscribe to aj170 with capitals S, T, A and J. At the time of recording, this app is still in development and the developer keeps removing the actual screen recording option. So this is one to keep an eye on for the future. And now a roundup of the rest. Wondershare are dipping their toes into the market with Dr. Phone. However, the app only comes as a one minute recording trial and the full price of it costs $20, which is pretty outrageous. iRec, one of the original iOS screen recorders, ceased development early this year after the soft launch of iRec 2.0. That no longer works. If you have an Apple Mac, then it's easy to stream your iOS device to QuickTime and record your screen. No surprise there, Apple, thanks very much. And if you want to stream and record through a PC, you can use Lonely Screen, which, when it works, works very well. For more info on this, click on the tutorial link now. And that's my roundup of the top iOS screen recorders and how to get them. As I said at the start of this video, my plan is to update this guide on a regular basis, so let me know if and when links change, new install methods come up and brand new screen recorders appear that we can all try. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for all your screen recording needs and I'll see you all again soon. Enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now.